All right, part two of best five plays under center. All right, got inside zone dub. We're going to do inside zone boot, two versions of that. All right, talked about a little bit of that in the last video. So we're going to do this one. I like for young kids to always, if they're right-handed, to boot to the right. I just think it's a waste of time practicing going left because it's, it's so hard. So we have left-handed quarterback to the left. So we're going to do, this would be called blue flex. Blue flex, X and the Y. We're going to do inside zone action here. Mesh, quick. Tail back at a real good fake. Again, we're not riding it. We want speed. We want to get depth and come around here. I call this under inside zone. So this would be inside zone left, boot right. This is the under version. So they're going to do the exact same thing, nothing, nothing different. He's going to run underneath in the flat. And our X is going to run a little drag. So we're going to high, low read there. Easy. This is easy. This is for the younger guys. Easy, easy throws. All right, boom, boom. This is going to be about eight yards or so. Maybe 10 for the older guys. This is like a two to three yard guy. And he also has the option to run if he doesn't see grass. And that's tight. Throw to the grass. Where do you see the grass? Keep it that simple. If there's no grass, it's a mess. Take it and go. And we have another version of it that I really like. Uh, over here, we're going to be um, in red tights. So I have a tight end here. Our X, this is our Y. We're going to run inside zone to the left, which we'll never run it weak, but this, this will work. He's going to mesh, get depth and go. He's going to run a flag route, a corner route, a little bit inside leverage. And he's going to do a Mississippi route. I tell him to practice one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then release to the flat. If he does it for one Mississippi in the game, be lucky. All right, we're going to get out of there quick, but three to four seconds in practice. And again, this is easy, right? Usually he'll be wide open. Um, if they're in some type of zone, that happened to us where they had cover two, we kind of had a cover, but for man to man, it's great. Um, easy peasy, short throws. Cool. You could do it out there. If you want, you could do it out of a spread formation, and you can run a go route, and you can run the Mississippi. So those are options, all right? So we just call it inside zone, inside zone boot. I call it inside zone, I call it is for short, because that's a lot of vocabulary, so is. All right, so then we have what we call beast under center, we call it crunch, um, or shotgun. Um, do it over here. You can uh, line up in, in red. You want to be red flex, I, I think. Uh, you can be in tank, or you can have him here. Tank just helps your angles his way a little bit. This is just a quarterback off tackle, and we don't have tackle, so it's getting off guard. Um, we're going to double team here. All right, he's going to turn him in, and his shoulder pads facing this way. He's going to block inside. He's going to block outside. We're going to get a cross block. All right, so if, you can get away with him here if he's fast enough. Um, and then we're going to double team here. This is going to happen so fast, he's just probably going to go. He's a waste to try to get here. Sometimes this kid will slant and he might get you back here. So it's just going to be like a double team, um, the first level. And that's just boom. And it hits quick. I mean, it's really, this is probably one of our best, most consistent plays. Got at least five yards, really at least um, almost every time, like one or two times. Uh, we didn't get a good double team when we got stopped, or this kid was able to get here before he figured out how to double team that. Um, so that's just basic football. And then we have Beast Pass off of that. He's going to get a little more depth. Still have that double team on the edge. Corner out. He's going to bubble. And he's reading grass. If he gets depth, and he comes to get the quarterback. This bubble is wide open. This is going to be almost like an option pick. It's going to give you four to five yards wide. He's just got to go and get all stuff like a cone here for drills for him to go around and drill it. Um, but it's going to be a fourth easy pass. All right. If he flies up and takes that grass away, whoosh, you got the flag route. All right. Sometimes we'll get a bunch of grass and he can run. Again, also if it's like third and short and it's wide open, you're going to take the easy money. Um, sometimes we get a stud here, he can come over top and, 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 uh, and uh, make that a little messy. We could throw a counter off, off that for a reverse. We could boom, if you be here, he could bleed up on that and get a reverse.
reverse. That's like a bonus. These pass reverse left. All right, last one is jet uh, out of green over here. Um, we'll go jet right. Um, again, there is a reverse a kick to look. Um, you could run it weak or strong, really, if they're kicked. I actually like it weak better because it don't have that overhang right there. But we'll go strong. I like to have, instead of going in motion, it's just way easier to have that kick lined up behind here um, and you do it just like inside zone. Right, boom, everything's going to be the same. You've got the front side A gap. We don't have too many guys here. He's just going to go, it's almost like a horizontal dive, and it's just like he's reading the same action key. It's the same thing as inside zone, except it's horizontal. He's going to turn towards the running back, okay? And a little boot, kind of a linebacker. But he's just going to go, and he can either keep going outside or bend it back. All right, so there is no blast it because we're kind of it's a pre bounce. We are getting wide out there, um, and it's I tell you what. Sometimes we get teams that just take that away, and really this is a great. He overruns it, and I've had some really good plays of him cutting that back big time. Um, the other thing you're going to do is teach him to read the second level defender. So he's almost like a second action key where he can cut it back here at the next level. And a bonus play is just doing a fake reverse off that. Man, these kids will fight for it every time. I like doing this the second play of the game, right? They run like inside zone the first play, just hard nose, get them and see how they adjust, see if they're kicked or stacked, how they're doing their defense, come back, and man, so it's like a great second play. All right? You could run the reverse off that have that, had a lot of success. Um, it depends on the kids, um, but you can run, right? And, and this quarterback ends up being the lead blocker, as long as he can really miss with a key block. You can get that so there's not penetration through here and messes it up. Uh, you do want to flex it. If you are going to run the reverse, I recommend having flex so it hits quicker to get around it. All right, here we go. Five best running plays. Inside zone, the boot up at inside zone. you got two different options that under the Mississippi. Beast, beast pass, a couple versions of that. The jet under center, fake reverse, and the real reverse. Have fun. That's all you need, guys.